Hello and welcome to another video. I'm Chokni and we're here with Saket. You might not be able to recognize her because she is wearing the Royal Court Jester costume and it is currently 50% off in the Crown Store at the moment. She's looking a bit plain but we will get round to that a bit later on in the video. Right now we're going to show you how to access the Jester's Festival quests. So it's just popping into the Crown Store and it's right there in your featured section because the event started on Thursday the 29th of March and it's only running until April the 2nd on Monday and I'm a bit disappointed about that because we definitely had an extra week tagged on to it but it doesn't matter because you still get to enjoy the event either way. So an unassuming scroll with a strange seal upon it there's something funny about it. So this is the Justice Festival Invitation Scroll. Now this will appear in your inventory. Under supplies. By decree of your most majestic majesties from the depths of their magnificent magnanimity, today begins a rule of foolishness and frivolities. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Abolish our concerns of toil, tax and responsibility for this silly season of wine, winsome glee. Not winesome, although I will have a bit of a whine about how many tongue twisters there are in that sentence. Show your appreciation to your ass, to our generous rulers, as they regale their subjects with their regality. Pranks, performances and potables on offer in Daggerfall, Ebonheart and Vocal Guard. Come one, come all, to the Festival of Fools. So, we should really see what this is all about. So, let's change the quest to follow the correct marker even though it may have a mind of its own and start changing part way through. So it says to complete one to start with, so that's either talk to Jester King Joran, Jester Queen Aren, and Jester King Emmerich. So on my map, I'm actually in my ebony flask in room, and then you see this icon a bit self, this is the starting place for the Stone Falls area, Jester King Joran. And it's actually not that far away from the Brothers of Strife Way Shrine. But to save my pennies, I'm just going to go and have a walk outside and apparently go invisible. And that's because I kept backing out. So what we'll do is come take a walk with me and we'll have a little chat about what was in the Jester's festival boxes last year and what's new this year. So we had consumables in the boxes and last year we had the cherry blossoms and the dazzlers and I believe that they're going to be making an appearance again. We also got unique just as festival mementos so we got the cherry blossom branch and that was the only one last year but this year we have an extra edition in the form of the scintillator memento and I think reading up on it it's looking like a firework memento a bit like the dazzlers from last year now I haven't actually seen it I'm gonna save that for when I open the boxes we also have housing items so we have the standard housing item which is oh, as I said the standard it is literally just those just as festival flags that you saw back in the house. Who wouldn't want such a and we've got two new items coming this year. <laughs> so we've also got a just as festival pavilion. So we're going to get a furnishing recipe for that. And you can also get the just as coffin. And that pops confetti. And it does look pretty cool, that one. Friend. A moment of your time. So I'm looking forward to doing the Jester's Festival event again. Could you help me out? I enjoyed it last year. And the quests are actually the same. 
and I actually have videos that I made from last year so I will link them in the description below. There are no talking on those ones and they're a little bit, I will say that they're a little bit messier than the ones I've been making recently but they get the point across and they're still a bit short, they're like 10-15 minutes long depending on which quest I'm going for. So as you can see we've now arrived for the first one. So we now have to talk to Jester King Joran, and you'll notice he's not exactly what he seems. He is in fact You Kachit. stand before Joran, Scald King! Do not be shaken by this one's presence. Only cowherds and concealers of foul coops have reason to fear Joran's hugeness. Join us in inebriating this momental day. What are we celebrating? Time honored nor traditions, fighting, food, foolishness, and fortification. Fun? Close enough. Sometimes Joron has trouble wrestling all the great words he knows. When it is Jester's Day, everyone is a child of Skyrim. What is Jester's Day? Any way you can. So long as someone is laughing, Joran suggests you prance, dance, and sing before your king. Or do you seek to raise a toast and boast your deeds at my royal roast? <laughs> so upon completion of the initial part, you get the Jester's Festival box. And as I did the event last year, it won't pop up this time round. But you get the Pie of Misrule as well. So we shall complete the quest no and we shall food. back out because this is Joran the start of his quest. When he sees one. And you can see that because he now has a blue arrow above his head for the daily repeatables. So let's pop ourselves over here. Now the Pie of Misrule pops up in your collectibles under your mementos. And it is just a pie to eat, but every two hours, or I should say for every two hours, because it gives the 100% experience boost. So does this taste funny to you? Use this collectible during the Jester's Day Festival to obtain a 100% experience boost, because extra experience is no joke. So I'm going to take this time to actually level up. I have a little baby warden healer. I have no idea how I'm going to do it healing. But they do need leveling up. So I will be doing that over the weekend. So we should assign this to Saket. And we'll show the little animation. So the glow, the gold glow means that it's been activated and if you're unsure you just go to your character sheet and you go all the way down and you'll see it there. Two hours long, 100% boost to all experience points and it's on you so no matter where you are, dungeons, trials, a random cave doing a quest, you can just pop the pie out and eat it. I have arrived in Gratwood at Elden Root to show Herelda's Garscroft because she is the holiday event furnisher. But more specifically, she deals with furnishings that are obtained only by completing certain achievement during the holiday events. And she also appears in Wayrest at Stormhaven, Mournhold at Dushan, and Fivex City at Vardenfell. But she's really close to the Way Shrine at Gratwood in Elden Root, so I just go for that one. You should be honored. I only sell quite interesting things to quite interesting people. I like the sounds of her, so let's see what she's got for the Jester's Festival. Now it is only two items, and they're both trees. So you have a young tree, also known as the Hilarious Sapling. Well, what's that just a kidding about? And it's only a small one, but it requires the Royal Jester's Achievement to purchase. 
And then you have the tree just as large. Does this tree look funny to you? And again, it requires the Royal Jester achievement to purchase. There is a big difference in price. 15,000 gold for the large one and 5,000 gold for the small one. But I'll show you what they look like in one of my other houses. We have just popped on with Eats Many Cakes. You can see how dashing she looks in her outfit. And these are the Jester's Festival trees. So this is the large one, the first one you see. It's got some thorn spikes on it. And it's got what looks like purple cherry blossom leaves. And they actually are falling down as well, the petals of the flowers. It's not really uh, leaves on the cherry blossoms, is it? It's petals. And then again, same effect, a little bit of the petals falling off on what looks like purple cherry blossoms again. Well, they could be leaves, couldn't they? Up close. I mean, look at the design. But they have that cherry blossom effect to me. And it would make more sense because you've got a cherry blossom branch as well. As I mentioned before, those two trees are purchased by obtaining achievements as well as the gold but what achievements do we need to actually get the trees so you have to pop to your journal you go to achievements and then right at the bottom you come across holiday events and then the jesters festival has a category of its own and we start off with the lady of misrule so complete the challenges set forth by Jester Aren, Jester Emmerich and Jester Joran and be crowned Lady of Misrule. And they are the three quests, Springtime Flare, A Noble Guest and Royal Reverie. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I did record some last year so I will link them in the description below. You get a title, the Lady of Misrule and you get the Crown of Misrule, which is a hat, which I will show off in a second. Then you have Dazzling Entertainer, bring some colour to each of the undaunted enclaves with an illusion dazzler during the Jester's Festival. So you have to go to Eldenrood Undaunted Enclave, Rayrest Undaunted Enclave and Mournhold Undaunted Enclave. And as I mentioned we had consumables which had dazzlers in last year so I'm hoping they will appear again and then that way you can do this achievement. You have the Elusive Dazzler, which is use a total of 50 illusing, Illusion Dazzlers. And I think that kind of goes hands in hand with the Dazzling Entertainer one, because you'll at least use three to kickstart this one. Then you have the Jester's Personal Chef. Acquire and learn all of the Jester's Festival provisioning recipes. So you've got Princess Delight, which is green. Candied Jester's Coins, which is blue. And then you have the Dubrous Camthorn throne and jewels of misrule which both are purple in level quality then you have princess rescuer rescue jester scold king's Euron's visiting princess without being spotted by the butcher and it's a really fun quest to do can get irritating with the butcher i did it in a mad dash to get this achievement which you can find in the video below And then you have the Royal Jester, which is to complete all of the ones mentioned above. Oh, and smile in the name of the Queen. So this one is the Festoon 20 players with cherry blossoms during the Jester's Festival. So when you get the cherry blossom branch, either in the room box or the consumables, you just go up to a player and you just sprinkle them with the flowers and it does make them look really pretty. But with the Royal Jester you get the title as well and then you can go and purchase those trees from the Furniture Achievement Holiday Vendor as well. We are now going to take a look at the good stuff which is in the Crown Store. Not everything is featured on the front page though so we're just going to go through it. We just start at the holiday section. So here we actually have several colours for both the Jester Festival and what I believe colours are for 
Easter as well, seeing as Easter occurs this weekend, seeing as today is Good Friday. So the colours Guilty Pleasure and Jolly Aubergine are definitely just as festival related because I remember looking at these last year and I have a video which I will link below as well as to what Raya picked out. So this one is the coin coloured clown and I can see why. Then we go into the Easter looking colours, so Little Peep Yellow, Bunny Nose Pink and Pastel Sky. Now looking at it, I like the Pastel Sky but I'm not keen on the Little Peep Yellow or the Bunny Nose Pink. I prefer the yellow of the Guilty Pleasure colour instead. This one is Fool's Gold. I would have thought the other one would have been more Fool's Gold, more yellow. Or at least it looked more yellow when you look at the sequence of the colours. Then we've got Gilded Grey. Now these are only in store until the end of the Justice Festival which is on Monday and the holiday die stamps cost 200 crowns each and they are bind on pickup and you can only use them once, they're not reusable and the colours do not unlock in your dying outfit stations. These are ones that if you need them, I say need, if you would like them then you have to buy them at that time of purchase. So again we've gone back to the Easter looking ones, we've got Pastel Festival, we've got Pink and Pale, Plenty of Plum, that looks good doesn't it? Purple Edged Gold, not so different to the Fool's Gold looking one, I think the colours are just opposite. Soft Hued Dream. That's actually a nice combination. Again, for me, I still like the pastel sky, but it's the pink now, the bunny nose pink. If it was a bit brighter, might be tempted. And now we get onto the fun ones. We've got solid gold. And we've got the walking eggplant. And if you want horrible nightmare inducing dreams of something that sounds like white gold tower, why not go for violet gold tower? Again, it's the arrangement of colours, but it doesn't look as different from the fool's gold and the other one that was mentioned. But they are the holiday crown die stamps. And then you've got obviously your quest starter, style parlor. This is fun. The Jester's personality. I bought this one straight away last year. It is so funny. I kind of wish I'd had my voice recording then because all I did was laugh and laugh when I first saw it. So whether you're feeling flamboyant and theatrical or just ready to jape and jeer at the world, adopt the mocking mannerisms of the Jester and poke some fun at those who take life too seriously. Time to yuck it up. So it does alter some of the personalities, so we're gonna take a look. So this is your idle stance. Then you have the cheer emote. I love this emote. You kind of throw confetti out of your mouth. Then you've got spit which is really good. I like that. And I forget about it as well. Then you've got lean side. So this is your wall lean on the side. Just kind of looking casual there. Then you've got the bow, which is really nice. Then you've got idol two, which I think is the idol royally one. Then you've got Idol 3, which is Idol Casual. Then you've got another Idol. And that's the Idol Angry one. Now, you wouldn't think you look angry, but when you pair it with that Jester's face mask you've got on, due to the Royal Court Jester costume, yeah, I can see why. 
and then you've got the walk. Now this is brilliant, especially when you slow it down and you're just shrugging your shoulders and kicking your legs out really slowly. And then you've got the run. This is brilliant, guys. This is where you feel like you need certain types of music running over all the time. And then we're back to idle again. I'll have to find out how much that one is, actually. I think I got it for a thousand crowns last year. Then you have the Jester's Festival hat pack. And what I'll do is I'll actually find out the price of everything and link them. I say link them, put them in the description below as well, seeing as I've purchased some of these from last year too. So I have these hats, but I will show them through here. So the As Is Jester's Cap. Back in the first era, fools in Harlequins used to wear actual donkey's ears on their hats as symbols of their profession. Over time, the floppy ears have become merely symbolic, but the ass ears jester's cap is still charmingly goofy. Oh my goodness, she looks so scared wearing it. Why do you look scared? It's just the hat. She is a cat, so I suppose she doesn't like things put on top of her head. And then you can see the little bells on it as well. You've got the bicolour coxcomb cap, so even fools and jesters have a hierarchy. Only the best looking or most aristocratic are entitled to call themselves coxcombs and wear the coveted bicolour cap. Do you think you qualify? Well, she certainly looks a bit better wearing this hat than the other one. And then you have the fool's cap and mask. By tradition, after it's over, no one mentions the hijinks that took place during the jester's festival. But some shy or reserved folks still prefer not to be recognised during the shenanigans. For them, we have the fool's caps and mask. Now you can see this is actually contoured to the Khajiit's face, and it does the same with the Argonians as well. And then the rest of the races have more of the human-looking face mask to go with it. And then, as you've seen, you've got the Royal Court Jester. So this jovial Jester garb, including mask and bell cap, could even make a zombie smile. Ooh, I don't know about that. And then we've got the mount. We've got the mask unicorn steed. Is that the famed and incredibly rare creature of legend, the true unicorn from Hersey's oblivion realm of the hunting grounds? Well, no, it's a horse and a horn attached to its forehead. But the effect, it's just so magical. Is it magical? Let's have a look. And apart from seeing just the ass in the corner, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go somewhere else to have a look at this horse. In fact, let's just pop out and put myself over here. Let's see if this works. That's a bit better. No, I'm not completely blown away by it. I know some other people have loved the idea of this though and they've gone and bought it, which is absolutely fine. It's each to their own, but for me, personally, I think I'm going to save my crowns on the horse. Maybe if the horn sparkled like my shivering cheese in the foreground is, I might be tempted, but otherwise I think I'm going to leave it. For me, it is not magical. I'm very sorry to say that, guys. And then we have, last but not least, the madcap Jester Monkey. Say, why does this little chum look at you funny? It must be your face. Ook ook. <laughs> I just can't believe I oot oot at you guys. So that was a terrible monkey impression and I apologise. <laughs> and isn't he adorable? Look at him, he's got his own little crown of misrule on. How cool is that? 
do you know what? I think I'm going to have to get him because he's a different pet and he's cute. And I would love to have him running around Tamriel with me. So that's only 700 crowns. So he's appeared in my collectibles under non-combatant pets. So obviously you can't use the collectible in the zone, so I have to actually be outside in my house to use it. But I can, first of all, show you the crown of misrule. Which is just that. And that's what you get from completing the achievements for the three quests associated with the event. And I'm pretty sure I did not want to do that. But as I'm in my house, I can put the monkey out. Ah, so it's under woodland creatures. He can go next to the shivering trees. Not quite hygienic, but it doesn't matter. Oh, isn't he adorable? He can be there with Steve the Soul Shriven guarding my shivering cheese. Well, thank you very much for watching this video i hope you've enjoyed it as i've mentioned i'll put links down below in the description to my other videos relating to the justice festival event there is updated in the description as well because the event is only running from thursday the 29th of march to monday the 2nd of april in 2018. short and sweet but hopefully we can all get the goodies that come from the Jester's boxes. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel and put that notification bell on, and I shall hopefully see you guys in the next video. Thanks very much for watching.